All right, what's going on my camping friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you this Titan solar generator with 1000 watts of solar panels connected to that camper there in the background. Let's go get it hooked up. Go ahead, hook that up. Yep. Why are you filming with That's good, bud. Not yeah. yet. Now shut that window as much as you can. Just don't break my wire. All right, there you go. All right, here's my Titan solar generator. This is my plug from outside. You see my boy plug it into the side of my camper there and slid it in this window. Now, if you were gonna actually really hook these up hook this up to a camper I would either I would probably put in a transfer switch so you don't have to run your cord through your window unless you're unless you're not going to use this all the time but if I was on the road and I was going to use this a lot I think I would put a transfer switch in and if you're going to use this a lot they I would recommend having two of these batteries this is a 2000 watt hour battery it would be nice to at least have two of these batteries so you'd have 4,000 watt hours. And I would also recommend putting on as many solar panels as you can on your roof. Maybe you can fit up there 1,500 watts. I have 1,000 watts outside. I'll show you that here in a second. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna try to run your air conditioner a couple times, I don't think you could run your air conditioner all day long, but you definitely could run it, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half before you go to bed just to cool down your camper because your air conditioner pulls a lot of wattage. <clears throat> but let's get this plugged in and try to get this camper cooled down because it's starting to warm up. Oh, you can see out of my thousand watts right now, it looks like I have, it's really close to 700 watts going into it. Depends on where the sun's at, if it's facing directly on them solar panels or not. <clears throat> Still charging, that's why it's blinking. Let me turn my AC down. Oops, let's put this down to 70. There we go. You heard it kick on. All right, there, now it's kicked on. The compressor kicked in, and I have about 1,000 watts going out. When these arrows are pointing down and it's not blinking, that means the power's coming out and I'm putting less, less power in than I'm taking out. So it's taking more power out than it's going in. But having the solar panels hooked up will help. That is my thousand watts that I got hooked up. Each one of them panels is 100 watts a piece. And this is how I have it wired up. If you would end up buying one of these Titan generators, it shows you in here how to wire up a thousand watts. You can get wire up 1500 watts. Um, now I think they are selling kits with 4000 watts, but I don't think you could fit 4000 watts on your camper. Here's 2,000 watts, how they wire that up. You have to wire it up like it shows there because you can only put so many volts in each one of these spots here. The, each one goes into the charge controller. It has two MPPT charge controllers. All right, while I sit here and cool down, I will tell you a little bit about this Titan solar generator. Now I do have another video that goes in over a lot more of the stuff on this Titan solar generator. But like I said, you can get as many panels as you want up to like 4,000 watts, just so you don't go over the voltage per charge controller. So if you would buy the kit, it's gonna come exact with exactly what you need and it will show you exactly how to wire it up. This Titan solar generator has a 3,000 watt 
pure sine wave inverter and it has a 6,000 watt peak on it. They recommend if you're going to be pulling over 1,500 watts out of this at a time, you should have more than two of these batteries. Now you can also order, if you get the one of the bigger kits, it comes with like two and three batteries. So the more batteries you got, the longer you could run this with no solar or no sun at all. It's one of the only ones out there that has this 30 amp plug. I think there are maybe a couple more now, but they're not as big a solar generator as this is. Now it's must not be running that hard. It's still running my air conditioner, but the fans just kicked off. <clears throat> so that's, uh, the Titan solar generator is a 24 volt system. So if you wouldn't want to get these batteries, you could get any battery you want, just so it's wired up for 24 volts. I think for what these batteries cost though, you're just, it's just easier to buy the battery that is made for this Titan solar generator. Well, like I said, you can actually order this or you can buy yourself 4,000 watts of solar panels and connect to this, but it will only let 1,000 watts go into each charge controller. Now the reason you would put 2,000 watts into each one of them to equal 4,000 watts would be to have, if you have cloudy days, that way it would still be putting some power into this and still be charging your battery even on cloudy days. And some people will buy this same Titan generator to hook up to their like cabins or if you have one, a small tiny house or they'll just use these just in their house or if they lose electricity a lot you could I could easily run my fridge and freezer off of this thing probably for a complete day now, it hasn't really dropped too much with having that thousand watts connected to it still at 92 percent this main unit here this has a two-year warranty and the batteries have a one-year warranty this battery should be good for 10 years or up to 2,000 charge cycles. So that means you could drain the battery and charge it completely back up 2,000 times before you need to start looking into buying another battery. Now that's, that's just what Titan says. I think if you weren't using this real, real hard, I think this battery is gonna last longer than that if you take care of it. Nope, we're down to 90% now. There, my air conditioner shut off. Now I think my compressor just shut off on the AC because I'm actually putting it's actually going to charging now. There we go. Now I'm back up to 700 watts going in it out of that thousand watts of solar panels. Well, there you have it. There's a Titan solar generator running my AC and my camper. And I probably could have turned on other stuff at the same time. I mean, the lights don't pull too much electricity. Um, and I can run my fridge on propane if I want to try to save some electricity. But like I said, I don't think you could, could I don't think you could do that all day long, but I definitely think you could run your AC. If you had a good sunny day and it was hot out, you could run it for a good hour, maybe an hour and a half if you weren't using this all day long, just to cool down your camper before you go to bed. Well, thanks for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you do have a Titan solar generator, if you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. I can try to answer your questions. And uh, check out some of my t-shirts that I just designed. I got down below this video. And God bless, and have a great summer.